Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advance learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Good day everyone! Dito sa learning task number 2, choose the ordered pair that will satisfy the inequality. Number 1, we have y is less than x plus 3. Ang mga given na ordered pair ay 2, 5. 5, positive 2, negative 5, negative 5, positive 4, 0. So, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng tatlong sample para masagutan nyo yung learning task number 2. So, ang gagawin nyo lang naman dito, isa-substitute nyo lang yung mga values. Unahin natin itong first ordered pair. Kung true ba yung inequality. So, ang x dito is yung 2, ang y is yung 5, di ba? So, by substitution, Yung y natin is 5 less than, ang x natin is 2 plus 3. And then simplify, 5 less than, 2 plus 3 is equal to positive 5. Is 5 less than 5? Hindi, ba? So, hindi pwede yung first na ordered pair. Now, let us try 5 positive 2. That is 2 less than 5 plus 3. Ito yun. And then 2 less than 5 plus 3 equals 8. Is 2 less than 8? So, true yon. Ibig sabihin, ito na yung isang ordered pair. Yung positive 5, positive 2. Next, yung third ordered pair natin, that is negative 5 less than negative 5 plus 3. Okay, so negative 5 less than Negative 5 plus 3 is equal to negative 2. Is negative 5 less than negative 2? Mas maliit ba si negative 5 sa negative 2? Di ba pag negative, pag lumalayo siya sa 0, mas maliit yung value niya. Meaning, negative 5 is less than negative 2. So, tama din yung negative 5, negative 5. So, ito yung second na ordered pair natin. Dalawa lang naman yung hinahanap. Pero itry pa rin natin yung 4, 0 para makita ninyo kung nasatisfy niya ba yung inequality. So, 0 less than, ang x is 4 plus 3. So, that is 0 less than 4 plus 3 equals 7. Is 0 less than 7? Tama, true din. Ibig sabihin, pwede rin yung positive 4, 0. Next, dito naman tayo sa number 2. We have 3x plus y is greater than 10. Ang pagpipilian ay negative 1, positive 2, positive 1, positive 10, positive 3, positive 1, at positive 3, positive 3. So, itry natin itong una, negative 1, positive 2. So, ang x dito yung negative 1, ang y natin is 2. By substitution, that is 3 times negative 1 plus ang y natin is 2 is greater than 10. 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3 plus 2, greater than 10. And then, negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1, greater than 10. Is negative 1 greater than 10? No. So, this is false. Hindi pwede yung first na ordered pair. Dito naman sa second ordered pair, we have positive 1, positive 10. By substitution, that is 3, times ang x natin is 1, plus ang y natin is 10, greater than 10. So, 3 times 1 equals 3, plus 10, greater than 10. 3 plus 10 equals 13, greater than 10. Is 13 greater than 10? Yes. So, this is true. Meaning, pwede yung positive 1, positive 10. Next, try naman natin yung positive 3, positive 1. So, 3 times ang x natin is positive 3, plus ang y natin is 1, Greater than 10. Simplify. 3 times 3 equals 9. Plus 1 is greater than 10. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Greater than 10. Is 10 greater than 10? 
Hindi, di ba? Equal sila. So, false din yung third na ordered pair. Now, let us try positive 3, positive 3. By substitution, that is 3 times 3 plus, ang y natin is 3 greater than 10. 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 3 greater than 10. 9 plus 3 equals 12 greater than 10. Is 12 greater than 10? Yes. So, this is true. Meaning, ang pwede lang dito ay yung positive 1, positive 10 at yung positive 3, positive 3. Okay? Next, number 3. Last example. Kayo na ang sumagot sa number 4 at 5 ha. Number 3, 2y plus x is greater than or equal to 5. Unahin natin yung positive 1, positive 2. By substitution, that is 2 times ang y natin is 2 plus ang x natin is 1 greater than or equal to 5. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 greater than or equal to 5. Simplify, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 greater than or equal to 5. Is 5 greater than or equal to 5? Yes, meaning pwede yung positive 1, positive 2. Okay? Now, sa 0, positive 4 naman. By substitution, that is 2 times ang y natin is 4 plus ang x natin is 0 greater than or equal to 5. 2 times 4 equals 8 plus 0 greater than or equal to 5. 8 plus 0 is equal to 8 greater than or equal to 5. Is 8 greater than or equal to 5? Yes. So, pwede rin yung 0, positive 4. Itry din natin yung positive 2, positive 2. Positive 2, positive 2. So, 2 times 2 plus 2 greater than or equal to 5. 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 2 greater than or equal to 5. 4 plus 2 equals 6 greater than or equal to 5. So, pwede rin itong positive 2, positive 2. Okay? And then, last one, we have negative 1, negative 5. By substitution, that is 2 times ang y natin is negative 5 plus ang x natin is negative 1 greater than or equal to 5. Simplify. 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10 plus negative 1 greater than or equal to 5. Negative 10 plus negative 1, same sign, so i-add natin that is negative 11 greater than or equal to 5. Is negative 11 greater than or equal to 5? No. Kasi ang negative ay mas maliit sa positive. Meaning, pwede ninyong pagpilian yung tatlo na 1, 2, 0, 4, 2, 2. Okay? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung graphing linear inequality into variables, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood. Once again, and stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!